Mara Linsky Deegan, and I am an associate registrar and curator here at the Charles H. McNider Art Museum in Mason City, Iowa. And today we're going to talk just a very briefly, but I think kind of coolly, about three um, pieces of sculpture that we have in our contemporary gallery. And the first piece we're going to talk about is this piece right here, and it was created by an artist named Dale Chapuli. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about Dale Chihuly, we actually have a video all about him uh, that we did just a little while ago, and that's on our website um, at mcniderart.org, and you can go to the McNider Art at Home to have at the top, and then we have all of our videos that we've done in the past there, including a video about Dale Chihuly. Um, Dale Chihuly is a glass artist, and this piece right here is made of glass. Um, it is called Azteca Yellow Persian Set with Black Lip Wraps, which is a hard thing to say. And it, again, was made of blown glass and it was done in the year 2000. And um, we're going to talk about something that I think is pretty interesting about this piece. Um, when you look at it, you can see it doesn't look like it's maybe made up of one piece of glass. And if you think that, you're right. It's actually made up of quite a few different pieces of glass. Um, some are big and some are little. Now, the cool thing about this piece is that you can make it look different just by taking the different pieces and moving them around. Uh, this is the way we have it right now. But if we wanted to, there are options to move maybe one piece that's right here in the middle. I might want to move that to the side. Now, it wouldn't be a big change. It wouldn't make it look like a completely different piece but it would make it look a little bit different. And I think that's what's kind of cool about this piece and makes it a little bit different than other pieces of sculpture is that by moving things around, you can make it look like a completely different piece if you'd like to. The next piece I'm going to tell you something which I think is really interesting about is this piece right here. Uh, this piece is a piece by an artist named Stephen DeStabler and it's called Left Sided Figure Pointing and it's made of bronze and it was uh, created in 1983. Now, bronze. I don't know if some of you guys have ever worked with really heavy metals before um, or things like bronze or um, lead or anything like that, but bronze like I said, is heavy. And so this is a piece that we don't move very often because it weighs a lot. Now, it looks kind of delicate when you're looking at it, but I don't think I could pick it up. And I don't think even me and three other people could pick it up. I think we would need something to help us pick it up because it's very, very heavy. Um, but one of the interesting things that I think about this piece is that when you first look at it, it looks abstract. And when I say abstract, I mean it looks like, it doesn't look like something that you'd see um, around in life. It doesn't look like a person or an animal or a shape really. It just looks abstract. Um, now, when we get up closer though, we can see that it maybe does look like, a little bit maybe like a person. So what we're gonna do in just a second here is we are going to move our perspective. That means the way we look at this piece. So right now when you're looking at it, you're like, oh, it's a lot of kind of blobs and, and I don't really see a shape in it. But it is called left-sided figure pointing. So I wonder if there is a figure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around the side of this and we're gonna stand over this on this side and we're gonna look at the piece again and we're gonna see if maybe we can see a figure. And we're going to stop right here. If we look at this piece again, and we look at it in relationship, which means we look at this piece, and then we also look at the piece behind it, so it's in relationship to the piece that's way on the far wall, you can kind of see now how, hey, that maybe does look like a figure. The piece on the far wall is a figure. It's a piece by an artist named Robert Longo, and it's called Edmund. And it's a guy kind of arching his back and pointing. So when you look at that piece, 
and then you look at uh, the piece that we've been looking at, the Stephen DeStapler piece, you can see that, oh, it does look a little bit more like a figure. Now, if we continue moving around the piece, especially if you look at the bottom half of the piece, you can see that it kind of looks like a leg. At least to me it does. I can stick my hand in here so you can kind of see that maybe this would be a knee and maybe this would be um, the front of your uh, bottom half of your leg, the calf and the um, shin there. And then it even almost at the bottom looks like maybe a foot and some toes. And if we look up, you can see that this bit right here almost looks like an arm. There's maybe an elbow right here and maybe some fingers that kind of got cut off there. <laughs> and so then it, even though it looked abstract, like it wasn't looking like anything. At the beginning, you can see if you kind of look closer, you can see that maybe there's a figure in there. So that's one of the cool pieces, or things about this piece right here. So the last piece we're going to talk about in this video is this piece right here. It is by an artist named Alexander Calder. And Alexander Calder um, was an artist who used all kinds of different media, which means he used all kinds of different things to make his art. Um, sometimes he painted, sometimes he would make uh, pieces on paper, drawings and prints, and sometimes he would use all kinds of different sorts of metal and string to make all kinds of different um, sculpture. This uh, piece right here is called Sans Chitra. That's how I say it. Uh, it's a French name, and um, it is actually made of aluminum, which kind of fun fact, aluminum is what pop cans are made out of. So um, it's made of the same thing. That means it's not very heavy. It's not heavy like the stapler. Um, and it's been painted. Um, and it actually, the cool thing about this piece of artwork is like the Chihuly, it's actually made up of different pieces that are put together. But unlike the Chihuly, where you can kind of move the pieces around a little bit how you like, this piece, the pieces have to go in a certain order. And that's because they're balanced on each other. So the top piece at the top, the white piece, is balanced on the piece in the middle, this black piece, which is then balanced on this piece at the bottom, red piece. Um, this piece right here is called a stabial. And that's what um, Alexander Calder liked to call the pieces that he made that moved around but didn't hang from the ceiling or above like a mobile. I bet most of you guys have heard of a mobile. That's something that hangs and then it's got pieces that move. This is kind of the opposite of that. It sits on something, on this case a pedestal, and the bottom part doesn't move but the top parts. Do. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about Alexander Calder as an artist, just like with Dale Chihuly, we have a video on him. So if you go to our website, mcniderart.org, and go to the McNider Art at Home tab, you can uh, scroll down and find his video and learn a little bit more about him. He was a real interesting guy. But in just a second here, I'm going to show you how this is kind of similar to a mobile. So again, I said this piece is kind of cool because these um, bits balance on each other and it does move around. Now, if we take our handy dandy mat board here, uh, we're just gonna add a little bit of air into there and you can kind of see it's moving now. And we're gonna see if we can get it to just move a little bit. So I'm just gonna move some air a little bit near it. We're gonna see if we can get it to, to shift around a little bit. Well, you can definitely see how it moves. It doesn't move very fast when it does move, which is good because I think if it moved very fast, the pieces would come off of each other because it is pretty balanced. 